Hey, welcome to Feisty Chess. I have been paired against Cabre Runo on chess.com, 15-10 game. I've got a French defense. <clears throat> hmm. Let's play something a little off the beaten path against the French. Cabre Runo is um, probably well booked up in French theory. We're going to play the ready gambit. <clears throat> It's been a while since I've played this. The idea is, okay, he's going to decline it. We'll go ahead and take. And we'll just have a position after D takes. E takes D5. <clears throat> I didn't want to close up the diagonal. It's a little more fun if he accepts. Hmm, okay, what's the plan here? <clears throat> Start with bishop d2. Don't really want to put the knight on f3 and allow the pin bishop to g4 just yet. Let's get the knight out. <clears throat> okay, knight c6 looks promising. If d4, I can just take. Doesn't really threaten anything, though. Okay, let's just castle. <clears throat> We've got an even game, likely, here. <clears throat> Our Queen's Knight presents a bit of a problem. I think the bishop doesn't really belong on e2. But now I've got ideas of maybe rook to e1, bishop, bishop back to f1. And then knight c3. It's kind of slow and laborious. Okay. Okay, this kind of gives us something to chew on here. Now I like d4. <clears throat> Maybe go for an isolated queen's pawn. I suppose he could go b3. Sorry, b6. So I'm expecting b6 here because anything else would allow me to take or win a pawn. So if he pushes here, I just win a pawn. Yeah, there's b6.
still, I think this looks good for me. He's got he's got more of a center, but <clears throat> hmm. Knight c3 would really force matters, wouldn't it? Maybe not. Let's do it. <clears throat> I'm not really threatening d5. My knight might have a good square now on a4. At least a square that kind of hits at a weakness of whites. And then if I can get c4 in... Okay, you wanted to avoid knight to b5. Makes sense. Play king h1, and this actually does threaten. Well, what, what do I do when he plays d4? <clears throat> I'll play d4. D4, knight, A4. I also have knight B1, planning to go to D2 and land on C4. Oh, he's not going to do that. He's going to defend instead. Hmm. Okay, let's go with bishop d3. <clears throat> Freeing e2 for a knight. G3 might be a good destination for that knight. Our bishops are both pointing at the opponent's king. You can say the same about his bishops, and he can block my one of my bishops out with his with D4 push. Let's go ahead and do this. This knight is kind of awkward here now. Let's get him on the king side. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of times when you play a gambit, strong players will decline the gambit and uh, Strong players will decline, and you'll end up with a position that's sort of nice. Um, I don't know that I would call this that nice. It's a balanced position. Probably black is a little bit better. Um, I don't know the declined, the ways to approach the ready gambit quite as well. But I think I've I've done well. I've I've had some games where I've had these pawn this pawn formation on d4 and e5, and when your bishop is on b2, that just kind of stunts things. So I'm glad I haven't ended up with that. But I have sort of given up the center. Okay. This seems to... Hmm. 
He's aiming at H2. Boy, if I can get the knight to F5, that would be nice. Can I go knight H4 here? I'm going to go knight g3 anyway. Then that knight could come to f5. <clears throat> Unless he wants to chop it off. If he chops, I'm capturing away from the center with my f-pawn. I'm enjoying an open file for my rook. A safe king. And an opening up board for my bishops. Can't go knight g5, g4 immediately. I was looking at that as a way to pin my rook to the defense of this pawn. But actually, I have bishop takes h7 check there. Followed by king takes and then knight g5 check. Now I'll be picking up this knight with my queen next move. <clears throat> Looking good on time here. I don't have access to h <clears throat> h3 here because of bishop takes, pawn takes, and queen takes pawn, so he, my opponent would have an extra pawn, and I probably don't have compensation there. Man, I've been hard at work all day. I'm not too chatty here. All right. We're going in for this. Hmm, I said I would take towards the outside. That gives gives him a nice outpost on E3. The open H file doesn't look particularly good the other way. Really didn't want that knight coming to f e5. What's hmm? I care about weakening e3. He's gonna get a pawn there. Is there a way for me to use the open h file? There might be. If I go king h2, rook h1. That's clunky, but. That's one idea. This is a more flexible move, I think. I'm holding on to e3 this way. <clears throat> okay, I got the advantage of the two bishops.
Hmm, maybe C3? Oh, that seeds some control over. Let's go with Queen D2. If he goes jumps in with Knight E5, I might just take. Hmm. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. My queen is probably... Where does she go? It's awkward. I'd be wary of knight to g4. <clears throat> mm, I have a plan here. Knight to d2 should dissuade. Yeah, that'll dissuade knight e4. I'll also watch out for... Oh, uh, but knight, knight e5 is coming in then. Is it worth sacrificing a pawn here just to blockade on d5? On d4? Maybe the plan is a3, b4. <clears throat> I'd really like to shut that square down. I don't see a quick route for his knights to do that. This would also, <clears throat> if, if he takes, it would allow me to, once I play b4, it will allow me to open up the a file for my rook. I don't like that rook squaring up against my queen. But knight to e4 immediately doesn't pose any real danger. So let's do this. Let's do our plan. <clears throat> I suppose he could go c4. But that allows me to blockade on d4. After bishop e2. Okay. Or bishop f5. That may be better. Oh, I see. He's looking at c3. That's probably an overextension, right? <clears throat> yeah, bishop c5. Bishop f5 is probably better. I can always drop back to h3. Hmm. g6. Bishop h3. g5 isn't coming just yet. I also have the option of just snapping off that knight. <clears throat> and then I can blockade on d4 with, with tempo, but probably d, uh, c3 is coming first. starting to think I should have captured to the outside like I planned. <clears throat> okay, get best I'm betting on c3 here and I've got to go bishop c1. But my bishop has a real future. 
in that case. I might get to e3 in time to blockade on d4 anyway, <clears throat> at which point I think c3 would be vulnerable. So <clears throat> maybe c3 isn't the way to go. I played a very patient game so far here. Um, see, I'm down about two thirds on time. Okay. Hmm. Bishop h3 honestly just doesn't look like a very good piece. I'm going to give back the bishop pair. <laughs> and then we're settling in tight on d4. It's just a question of which piece. Wow, the queen looks like an awfully good piece right now. Threatening mates and such. He's got to play f6 if I do that. Yeah, the queen's not the best blockading piece, but in this case, I think queen d4 is really strong. <clears throat> yep, yep, there's f6. And I can get my rooks into the game. Also go king h2, rook h1. He'll, he'll be able to defend h7 on the second rank very easily. So let's challenge him on the e-file. Keep the other rook back to watch over d8 probably. Sorry, watch over uh, d4 for use on, the, on d1 later. Yeah, knight e5 doesn't work here. Does it? Five, maybe I just, you know, stick with rook a to d1, and then I'm planning to go bishop c8, bishop c1, and then bishop f4, maybe. I'm planning, I'm trying to go knight g5 here. Not sure how good that is. <clears throat> yeah, my bishops, our bishops tell a very different story here. And I'm enjoying that story. Yeah, knight, knight e5, actually I can just take grab a pawn, right? Knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes, and I'm just up a pawn. <clears throat> Gaining back a little bit on time. What does black do here? 
Rook e4 is one idea. Yeah, rook e4 makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? Do I take? That opens up his bishop. But he'll be able to get that push in, I'm pretty sure, if I don't take. The only real alternative is queen d2. So I, I might as well take. Yeah, okay, okay. This doesn't seem to work out for him. Okay, knight takes. Now this has to be good for me. I don't want to spend a ton of time thinking this through at this point. Yeah, he doesn't have enough activity to... I was looking for C3 tricks, um, but honestly, I don't even need to go for the queen at that point. I can just... Okay, we're trading down. How does he defend this pawn? If I just go rook d1. What's the plan here? He wants to get a passer on e, on d3. Well, okay. I don't know how I can stop that anyways. And actually, I can kick the bishop away that's going to protect it. So I think I'm, I think I'm winning another pawn here. So I'm imagining d3. Yep. Yeah. Now, e takes. Sorry, c takes. Okay. Okay, we're going for... A rook ending, or an opposite color bishop's ending. It's going for the draw. My bishop is placed really well. I'm, I'm tempted to go for this. Yeah, let's go for another pawn. If he plays bishop here, bishop e4, <clears throat> in that case, I've got rook c3, or bishop c3, or a4. a4 seems like the critical line. Bishop to c3 is pretty passive, isn't it? Let's 
tried it before. have um, if he gives up the C pawn I can get my rook to C7 and that's pretty key because it means I can have a lot of pressure against H2 H7 I mean especially with my bishop on this diagonal Probably had an easy draw in hand there, but I wasn't really looking for, for an easy draw. Even though Cabre Runo is higher rated, I'm feeling feisty. If he goes rook b3, my plan is then bishop. C3. <clears throat> okay. It's probably a smart move. Just getting the king in. I'll need to get my king involved. Let's follow suit. All of his pieces are on light squares. I do have a, a couple pawns on, on light squares myself. <clears throat> and you have When I have the dark squared bishop, then he has um, an easy ability to put all of his pawns on squares my bishop can't touch them. So, and I can do the same. <clears throat> and bishop c3 is the answer if uh, hmm I've got my king cut off in the second rank
I'm not sure what the right plan is. I don't see a way to win. <clears throat> Probably just hold steady here. Maybe play F3. All right, going on to one, playing G4. Oh, he's bringing his king that way. All right, let's play G5. He's going to let us. We might be able to make a passer on the king side. Make a move. Make a move. He's going bishop d3. Probably. King is a lot more dangerous than mine. I time is also a lot more dangerous. <clears throat> Let's go for F4. I hope I don't have any network hiccups here.
Maybe g4 was the right move there. Maybe rook e1 was the right move there. glory and go for G, D4, g4 if he tries to go after it with his bishop okay we've got things covered Strange. I don't understand the plan all that well, but Both quite low on time. Whew. I have to take. <laughs> I could have checked, I suppose. Okay, gaining some time here. Oh. Well, that probably spells the end of this. Hang on. Hang on, we might have a win. Or a loss. We might have a loss on our hands as well. Okay, this is a very interesting game. If he tries king b2, I've got bishop check.
king position, folks. Can I salvage a draw from this is the question. Oh, that's an excellent move. An excellent move. Okay, Cabri Runo has outplayed me in the ending. Ah, came down to dropping G4. I mean, I would have had some kind of initiative with that. It's resignable. Good game, Cabre Bruno. I have a busy day. I am not going to analyze this, but I'm just gonna post it. Um, well, okay, I lied, I lied. I'm going back to where Bishop takes G4. I missed this. I wonder if... If this was working um, he's promoting with check is the problem. It's a big problem. So I can't, I, I don't think this is working, no. I mean, he can capture first if he wants, but then he's not on G4 anymore. I'm not in the square. I'm not catching that pawn. My bishop can't catch the pawn either. I might have this trick, but his bishop covers this diagonal, so his king will not have to capture anything, and I can... Yeah. His bishop captures, and nothing has changed. So yeah, I needed to play king d2 there. Rook e2 was a great move, actually. Maybe I needed to play rook check here. Now I start pushing for the glory. But I'm just losing a bishop. It's not gonna work. I have to save my bishop. But he can still simply push. And now his bishop covers this once again. So, okay. Well, draw against a stronger player. Could have had it. Um, but no regrets. I played in a feisty manner. Really too much time used up here. The, the key crunch was right through here when I didn't have enough time to really think through this end game properly. Maybe I should have taken my chance with this rook here and just abandoned any ideas of saving things on the queen side. I'm just coming over here. Still making a passer is a long, laborious process. Better king position and this, this threatening pawn, which is already far advanced. That, that's what the ending came down to. All right, good game, Cabaret Uno. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Stay feisty.